So we came up with the idea of a, a hypothetical Japanese customer who would want to sit on the floor and okay. have dinner. Okay. But in an airplane, unlike a yacht or a home, you're sitting in kind of like a bathtub. There's, the windows are too high. So we came up with an interior concept called the Kyoto Airship. Do you see this? Yeah. Before? Which you know, executed the customer's passion to have their home-like experience sitting on the floor on a sushi table, shoji screen sushi table, but still very uh, typical, you know, Western you know, seating groups for the TTNL takeoff and landing, but, you know, really an open space, you know. So, I can send you these images as well. But, you know, so on the exterior, those are, are the windows, right? So you have, the exterior has now been affected by the interior. So this was really a coup for us because my boss, our CEO at the time, said, Jay, we need to prove we can make these windows before we show this to the world. <laughs> because today, just a concept. Right. And so I, I went to Brazil, and for two weeks almost, I sat with the engineers and figured out, could we make these windows with the skylights and the, and uh, lo and behold, we had created drawings and designs for Coast Guard aircraft on an E-145 platform because they Which want an E-145 um, for an observer plane so you can look down at the ocean, the Coast Guard, searching, search and rescue. The same drawings and engineering that worked on that Coast Guard aircraft work on the lineage. As long as we stayed forward of the wing, structurally, we stayed forward of the wing. So in the end, after two weeks, we got the thumbs up from engineering. Yes, we can put these windows in a lineage. Oh, you couldn't believe how happy I was to hear that.